Hey guys, so right now I'm in Argentina, right there with the flag behind me, but if I turn around here, right here separating between this river is Paraguay, and then right over here is Brazil. So pretty cool to have a view of all three countries all in the same place. Hey, what's up guys? I'm here in Agazu Falls in Argentina. It's right on the border of Brazil and Argentina. As you can see behind me, it's breathtaking. There's a little monkey right there too. I'm gonna share with you guys the experience here in Agazu Falls. Enjoy. So right now I'm getting some much needed time off here in Iguazu Falls. Uh, after three months, many of you know, of non-stop work without a day off, working on a project that I'm super passionate about, I always try to make sure that I strategically set up time off, vacations, rest time, and for me being here right now is one of the best ways uh, for me to do that, being out in nature where you can really reconnect with yourself, reconnect with your vision, your purpose in life, and also gives you the opportunity to rejuvenate yourself and fill yourself up after you've given so much towards your goals and your mission. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm so grateful to be here. It's truly majestic, these Iguazu Falls. Um, something that, you know, no picture, no video could ever do justice. You have to be here to experience it. And, um, you know, when you get that time to reflect on your life and your goals, it, it allows you to see what's most important and, and take yourself out of what you're working on. Sometimes when you're so caught up in what you're doing, you don't get that altitude, that same perspective versus when you remove yourself from that and you go into a different environment and uh, you can just reconnect with everything. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm often reminded that the Western philosophy towards living is all about doing something in order for you to be happy. Achieving goals, achieving your vision is often focused very much in the future. You're often focused on your goals, your vision, and what you want. And there's a belief system underlying that, that you have to do something to be happy. The Eastern philosophy is more about living for today. It's all about today because today is all you have. And so you gotta make sure that you enjoy today and enjoy the moment. And you gotta have a bit of both, I believe. You can't just bliss out and live for today because if you do, then you're not thinking ahead for your future. And at the same time, you can't just always be focused on your future and success, but not taking the time to enjoy your life and the journey along the way. So I think having that balance of both is something I'm often always reminding myself of. So right now we're going to a restaurant called the Argentine Experience where we get to make some of our own food, our own drinks, and really get the authentic experience of Argentina, their food, their culture, their wine, all of that. So we'll share with you guys lots of wine. We'll probably be a little bit tipsy in this, this vlog. So we'll share with you guys the experience. Now I need to add one more just in case. Is your mind open? Yes. Yes, ready to have fun? Yes. Yes? yes? Okay, I need one of you to open the door. <laughs> With an open mind, please. Open your mind. Let's, let's knock, let's knock. Okay? So, welcome to the Argentine experience. Oh, nice. Secret doorway.
This is a special tea. This special. grows naturally in Argentina. It's kind of like a green tea. I wasn't expecting that. I thought she would say like two scoops. Okay. Shake it. You gotta sh shake it onto your hand so that you, yeah. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, amateur. <laughs> All right. Then we put it on one side. And there's a hole, and the water in the hole. Nice straw. Okay. <laughs> you gotta put more water in, right? No, no, you gotta drink first and then you pour more water. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I moved it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now you have to drink it. You can't move the straw. <laughs> Por favor, se me 
Look the straw. It's just like green tea. <laughs> so you're not supposed to move the straw. It's a big offense. Okay, and now we're gonna do the dolce de leche. So because this is bitter, we pair it with something sweet. So stuff is going to make it. This is very typical Argentinian. Porque ela é muito gaúcho, né, cara? Eu acho que é all right, what are you going to eat? So we got two desserts. This is the first one. What is this? I don't know. What was this again? Dolce de leche. Dolce de leche like a mousse. Like a mousse. So caramelized peanuts, cream, and go for it. There's one. Come on. Wow. I've never had it before. Wow, that's sweet. It's very sweet. <laughs> Made it on top of the tallest tower in Latin America. We'll have to show you guys this amazing view of Santiago, Chile. Hey guys, I'm in Santiago, Chile. Hey guys, right now we're at Concho y Toro, which is one of the biggest wineries in the world. I think it's the second largest one here in Santiago, Chile. They produce a lot of incredible wine and we're gonna check it out and share with you guys a bit about the experience. The brand, Casillero del Diablo Reserva Especial. This is from the harvest 2017, sorry. It has 13.5 percentage of alcohol and comes from the valley of Casablanca. This is close to the Pacific Ocean in the region of Valparaiso. Now you can come closer and take your glasses to make the tasting. So right here behind us is the home, the summer home of the founder of Conchi y Toro. Uh, that's actually his last name, but he actually started this in 1883 as a hobby. He went to France and he just created his own vineyard, his own wine, just for himself and his friends and family. And he turned that into a huge company. And this company now is uh, traded as a pu public company on the stock exchange in Wall Street and in Chile. Yes. And the family only owns like 2% mm -hmm. of it now. So just actually very interesting because it kind of shows you that sometimes it, you need a team, you need an army of people yeah. to really make something yeah. as big as this. Yeah, and this scenery here, guys, is incredible. Um, they imported, that's a 400 year old tree right there imported. And I think this is a magnolia tree here. And a fake pond. Yeah, there's a fake pond there. They made it like a golf course, really beautiful. Right now I'm in the wine cellar. The temperature, the humidity, everything makes a big difference to the quality of the wine. Each of these barrels produce 300 bottles of wine, which is pretty crazy. And they only have two rows because Chile gets a lot of earthquakes. They once had five rows of barrels and they lost a lot of their production. So now they only have two, uh, two barrels stacked on top of each other. And uh, it's pretty cool in here. Yeah. 